The new drug that we have been developing is actually been 25 years in the making. It is a novel HIV-1 attachment inhibitor. The attachment inhibitor has been developed specifically for heavily treatment experienced people living with multi-drug resistance to HIV. Those are people that have run out of options. We had an existing stockpile of medicine that was being used to treat the patients on the clinical trial, but it was absolutely essential we continue to have supply continuity for those patients on the trial. We decided we needed to design and construct a manufacturing facility with specific controls to accommodate it. It's absolutely critical that we construct the facility quickly to ensure that the stockpile didn't run out before we were able to produce fresh supplies from the pharmacy facility. The facility was built on our existing site in Parma, Northern Italy, that already has capability in depth in high containment manufacture. We actually built the plant in 15 months from groundbreaking through to handover. rather than uh, performing uh, the steps of the traditional engineering, which are uh, feasibility design, concept design, scheme design, and detail design, so four steps. We actually decided to integrate them. So we combined the feasibility and the concept stage, and then at the later step, we decided to overlap the plant and utilities scheme design with the detailed design of the civil works because we had to accelerate and to progress with the maximum priority the construction of the building which was on the critical part of the project. 3D modelling really helped us to visualise the facility as we were designing it and also in sharing it with our stakeholders so that they could give really valuable input to the design as we were developing it. The companies that were bidding on our project, they could see the complexity and the detail of our facility and so it, it increased their understanding of the challenge and, and their scope of work. From the start, we identified uh, the most critical equipment based on the delivery time, and we drafted and finalized some user requirement specifications that allowed us to order the equipment. In the meanwhile, we were performing and finalizing the layout of the facility. So overlapping the design phase with the order of the equipment allowed us to have the equipment available on time in the newly built facility in order to start the manufacturing activities. So integrated project delivery is a collaborative approach that aligns the team through collaboration, structure, team goals, stakeholder management, and a commercial approach to a single aligned goal. And for us, the common goal is completing a project on time to enable us to supply products for people living with HIV. It really created the open and uh transparent uh, environment so that uh, every party involved was really encouraged to share their expertise, share their know-how and this announced the collaboration and really kept everybody aligned with the same project goals from the very early stages throughout the project completion. I'm proud of the teamwork that came together. This was a fantastic example of how we blended corporate capability, local knowledge and industry partners. It's the teamwork that I'm most proud of, together with the fact that for a project at speed, we were able to do so without a single lost time or reportable incident on the project. This is genuinely a product that without it, some people wouldn't be here today and now being able to open up supply, it genuinely makes me feel quite emotional. I'm really, really proud of the team. Through all the hard times and difficulties, the team never gave up. I would like to congratulate everybody that has worked on this program for so long and thank all that have participated in the development of this very, very special job.